question is about honey. You have not mentioned the honey. Yeah, yeah, olive, organic honey. With the good side? Or the yes, olive it's on the good side. Olive oil. Thanks. Olive oil, cold pressed oils, coconut oil. Oils are very important. They lubricate our joints, but not animal oils. Good oil you can find in coconut, in the olives, in avocado, and they're very, but please use co cold pressed olives. Coconut oil and olive oil are for me is the best. And your question was sorry, honey, about honey. honey. Honey, organic honey means not processed. <coughs> okay, you can uh, you can use instead of sugar. Mm -hmm. So when you make your juices or smoothies, like you blend, you know, your spinach. If you want to get, for example, you go to the gym instead of taking all these poisons from the boxes, you just melt, uh, soak your almonds in the evening, wash them in the morning, put in a blender, put spinach, raw spinach. Put some broccoli, which is full of proteins or magnesium or calcium. Put some flax seeds. Put some banana for a good taste. Put some dates. I usually use dates. But you can put also honey instead of sugar. And you don't use sugar at all. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. Well, the fruits, which is available nowadays, which is coming from America, Chile, yes. is only <coughs> six months old. Yes, I know. Yeah. You know, all these fruits, yes, first of all I say we can do what is the best in the certain cir circumstances. Take what is less evil. So, it's less evil to take this apple than other. But, you know, usually because pesticides are full uh, of, of uh, I mean, they're acidic. So, in order to neutralize them, we need baking soda. Soak your fruits before <coughs> consumption in the water with two spoons of baking soda and you will neutralize some of, uh, some of uh, pesticides. It's not the best, but you always look for organic. There is but any organic shop, there is Katif shop. Uh, Katif vegetable market is excellent Thursday morning. Really, you can find the best carrots in Cuba. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. You talked about detoxification. Yes. How can we naturally detoxify our liver? With juices. Ah, liver. Liver. Liver, you know, I recommend coffee animals, you know, washing the colon with the coffee solution, which I have on handout, but now I don't have. Maybe I will leave my handout to the desk so people can, you know, pick it up. Uh, so I have four pages where I recommend what is good to eat, how to treat terminally uh, ill people. And, uh, but how to treat liver, I also can, there is my mail you can get and I will send you liver cleansing with simple uh, apples and some, yeah, vinegar. Yeah, you have suggested about the juices and raw, uh, raw juices, yes. yeah. but how a diabetic patient can take that? Diabetic patient? Yeah. You know, diabetes you can treat uh, in months, <coughs> or two or three, I'm serious. You can even treat in a week or two. It's possible to treat. You need to be completely on a row. You know, if you are healthy, you can be 80% on a row, 20% like me on a, some cooked food, like baked potato, brown rice, some cooked vegetables, a little bit. But for sick people, it's important to be 100% because they need all these enzymes. So, uh, how, what, what is uh, wrong? Diabetic. Diabetic, yeah. So, but for diabetic people, you know, you just get rid of grapes, figs. These are no-no, and also decrease date, you, you know, one or half date is okay, or small piece of banana just to satisfy the taste, but avoid fruits, you know, eat uh, vegetables. So you can find nuts, vegetables a lot. Can you suggest that, um, that they can take uh, carrot juice? They can take, you know, but carrot juice have also carbohydrates, so a little bit less. Put more celery, put more green vegetables, these are the most important, broccoli, cabbage, yes. Yogurt. Yogurt. No yogurt, this is milk product. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My first question is to uh, Zulfan. There was a recent news that there are some kind of toxins in cabbage that is uh, dangerous. Yes. What's your opinion about this? Yeah, you know, all these toxins, uh, you know, instead, many of you have gardens. Instead of gardens with the grass, you know, <coughs> just have small vegetable garden and puts your vegetables in your backyard, you know. So you can have your tomato on just a small place. You can have your tomato, uh, parsley, you know, few, few of them. But cabbage you can soak in a baking uh, soda and, and water to get rid of some poisons. And go to Katif. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. We need to take four fruits. Some, some of the fruits costing right. four, like apples, bananas, yeah. oranges. Oranges. What, what, what is it with that? Well, if we take them, yeah. some of us are getting cold and bring diseases. From the apples? From the apples or uh, bananas, sometimes. Oranges. Rawa, Rawa. Oranges. Rawa. Yeah, infections, cold and... Uh, you know, I checked up what you eat after your orange juice or before. If <laughs> <laughs> you have a throat infection, yes. a fever, for yeah. two excellent, they are excellent question. you have to give them antibiotics. No, no. But there is no solution. No. There is no, no solution. What no solution? The doctor my, said you have my, to give them. Yeah. You know, I'm a yes. medical yes. doctor. Yes. I don't give to, to my friends and my family. So why? My patient, I mean my friend Renal, he came, he had a meeting in Kuwait. He said, I'm very ill, I have very high fever, what to do? I have a meeting tomorrow, I have to go. I said, don't eat anything, or if you eat something, be sure that everything is raw. Mm -hmm. And second thing, take, because you're acidic when you're sick, take uh, in the morning one teaspoon with uh, water, glass of water, baking soda, one teaspoon of baking soda before breakfast and in the evening for uh, two, three days to alkalinize your body. He got rid of fever tomorrow, he went on a meeting and his friend, who was sick, he got antibiotics and he was sick for a week or two. <laughs> so, you get rid in one day, you know, because enzymes are going directly there where they are needed. Ma'am, uh, ma that animals uh, don't uh, drink milk. What about cats and lions? Cats drink milk. Who? Cats. 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 She feed her babies by them? Babies? Yes, all babies drink milk, but when babies have a teeth, they don't drink milk, they eat milk so and milk. It's essential for the babies to take milk. For babies. No, no, I said babies, they have a milk. After they get a teeth, you know, they have to chew the food, not milk. Natural milk, you mean, even for the, uh, the, the people. For their babies, they should have natural milk, not? Of course, mother's milk. Mother's, mother's milk. milk, yeah. Yes. Mother's milk up to age two. Oh, very important to say, after age of three, you know, after age of three, our body starts to lose enzymes for digesting milk. So this is why you always have, you know, some bloating, some problems, some cramps, because of this, you don't have enzymes to digest this. Actually, I have a meal too, that basically Yes, good. I have one of my friends who have a uh, problem. Yes. And the doctor told them, you know, he asked the colon. And the doctor told him that he, they have to cut the colon yeah. and make a no over here. Um, otherwise, he will die. That's it, you know, uh, also. And then he said, well, what, what if you make a no over here? Okay? He said, uh, well, your life will live, be longer for two months or three months. He said, well, I will die anyway, so I will not, uh, I will not do it, whatever it is. He went to another doctor and he told him the same. He came to the internet. So uh, after, after that, he just went to Rufus, all Rufus, after consultation. And he's no, now very, very, very Yeah, I have also We have the tendency of the combination, like we take a salad and then we go for the cooked food. Will that affect the digestive system? Like you are taking raw food, which take, which will be easily digested. I'm not sure which will yes. be easily digested and which will not be easily digested. Okay. We have a combination of raw food okay. plus the cooked food. Yeah. Is it okay? Very good question. Because you know, when you have at least 51 percent of of the meal raw food, then you're getting your enzymes to digest all this uncooked food. So it's not, uh, you know, the ideal, of course, but 51% uh, is the lower, lower uh, uh, range, you know. So if you eat, put at least a little bit more of a raw food to be with your cooked meal. So and eat it before. Balanced diet. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, what about the refrigerated uh, raw um, vegetables and? Uh, refrigerated. Yes. Okay, you have to refrigerate them to to cook.